Recreational marijuana use has been legal in Colorado since 2012. But what happens when some of the state's other laws surrounding the drug haven't quite caught up? Check out our next story. Could this sweeping legalization of marijuana cause real legal issues for families in the future? The state of Colorado is currently denying half the workers' compensation death benefits to Erica, a mom of four whose husband, Adam, died in late 2017 while working on a malfunctioning ski lift. The reason for the denial? Because he had marijuana in his system. The widow claims the accident wasn't her late husband's fault and his legal use of the marijuana for depression has put her family's future in disarray. Can the family appeal this decision? And could marijuana continue to be a problem when it comes to workers' compensation? Erica joins us now via Skype from her home in Lakewood, Colorado, also here to weigh in as attorney and legal analyst, Anahita Setagatfar. And first things first, Eric, I just want to send our condolences to you for the loss of your husband, Adam. Can you tell us just a little bit more about the battle that you're involved in, in terms of, of receiving benefits? Sure. Well, when my husband was killed um, at work, I thought we would be okay. Um, Colorado, you can't sue for a wrongful death. Um, so I learned shortly after that that one-third of our workman comp benefits were going to be denied because they found THC in the system. Because of that, um, I have to just continue to wait for the court. And I've only received one-third of the workman's comp at this point, which is about 800 a month. You know, I, I, I think this is so difficult. And, and I remember, Anahita, when marijuana was first legalized, and Colorado was one of the first states, and admittedly, it was a little bit of the Wild West, That's just right. in terms of how you deal with it and, and learning as you go. And I don't know that, that people even thought through these types of issues. What does, if anything, the Colorado state law say about a, a case like this? So it's very complex. It's a complex legal issue because, yes, marijuana is legal in the state of Colorado, but employers have a legal right to say we do not want our employees to show up at work under the influence of marijuana or really any other drug. And then they also have a law that says if the employee who's injured tests positive for marijuana, your benefits get cut into half. But you guys know this better than I do. How do you know when that individual smoked the marijuana or took the edible marijuana when it stays in your system for so long. So that's the that's the dilemma that courts need to figure out. Right, because right now, if I took your blood alcohol level, that's I would have an acute point where I could say, your blood alcohol level is 0.17. Mm -hmm. That is two and a half times or two times the legal limit. With marijuana, you could use it days before and it could potentially still show up positive. And so... <laughs> There is no way in that regard to say, well, this person was under the influence while at work. Mm 